Ladies and gentlemen, your YouTube luchador weighing in at more weight than he probably should have at a height at 5'5". Five five. This is Vargas! Oh yeah! This is the Vargas! The Vargas is like cream, and the cream always rises to the top! RISES TO THE TOP! Not very good Macho Man, I will freely admit. Uh, my buddy Movie John has a much better uh, impersonation of Macho Man than I do. But this is the Vargas, your Mexican YouTube brawler, uh, back again with a wrestling collection video. This time, I'm not going to do a review. I'm going to showcase a part of the wrestling collection. Uh, today, I am sporting a Caristico uh, mask, black version. Uh, I saw this, and I really, really liked the contrast of red and black. Reminds me, reminds me of a certain someone I know. But, I really like it. I really like uh, Caristico's mask. Uh, he started as, as Mystico, then uh, he went and became Sin Cara in WWE. Then uh, he became Mysticus in AAA, but I don't like his mask in, in AAA. And then came back to uh, CMLL and became Caristico. And recently actually had an appearance in The Crash, so that was surprising. And I am sporting uh, my favorite belt design of all time, the WWF uh, Winged Eagle Belt. This is by far my favorite, favorite belt design, and I wish... Somehow, some way, I can get uh, an actual replica of this baby because that would be like the best thing ever. So yeah. But all in all, I like this design, and it's about the same size it that the original one was. So that's pretty cool. So like I said, this time around, I am going to share with you all uh, part of my wrestling collection. Um, I I don't have the biggest wrestling collection, of course. There are people out there, there are many YouTubers that uh, have way more impressive wrestling collections than I do. I'm going to put this thing on the side here. Uh, but uh, what I've gotten, I've gotten through luck. Because uh, for me personally, it's really, really hard to come by WWE DVDs. Uh, not as easy as you would think uh, for someone that, uh, well, quite frankly, refuses to purchase stuff online, I prefer the thrill of the hunt. I prefer going to flea markets and uh, the occasional Target or Walmart, or you know, uh, just you know, maybe I uh, like Movie Freak has a, a a lot of WWE DVDs, or I find someone that's selling them. Uh, thankfully, I, you know, I thought that it would be a lot easier uh, with the network. You know, everyone's going for the network, so they're getting. They would get rid of their old wrestling DVDs, but that's not been the case. But thankfully, I have come across people uh, that have started selling their wrestling collection, and I've been able to get it. So, what I'm going to share, share here are my DVDs um, that have documentaries or represent a wrestler. I have others that represent teams or uh, are documentaries for a certain subject, like uh, D-Generation X. Or the NWO. But I'm focusing on this video. Oh, also goes great with my rage ring. Uh, I'm focusing on single wrestler DVD. So, let's get started with uh, the wrestler that I enjoyed the most growing up. And that's the Hulkamaniac. Hulk Hogan himself. Uh, this is the Ultimate Anthology. Bought this at... Walmart, and uh, this is an exclusive of Walmart. It has a fourth disc. Uh, normally, you would get a three disc for the Hulkster, but this is a fourth disc set, and uh, I bought it because of that. Of course, has uh, the documentary of the Hulkster, and uh, it has uh, some of his m best matches. There is a second Hulk Hogan DVD that I want to get, and that's the Hulk Hogan. Um, 
unreleased DVD, I think, uh, that has a couple of his most uh, obscure matches. This is this has, of course, his biggest matches against uh, Sav Randy Savage, Ric Flair, King Kong Bundy, The Undertaker, Sergeant Slaughter, Sting, The Ultimate Warrior, and The Iron Sheik. Uh, but the other one has some of his dark matches and his less televised matches, so I would like to get that one. Next we go to the second favorite wrestler, The Undertaker. Uh, I did a review on Tombstone, The History of The Undertaker. Really good DVD. I would recommend it if you have, you know, if you're a fan of The Undertaker. But I also bought this off my brother. And this is The Undertaker. He buries them alive. Uh, this is just a conversion of a VHS. Uh, but only has uh, slightly less matches. But the main one, and the reason my brother bought this, is because it has Undertaker versus Undertaker. So we never got to see that match until he bought this DVD. And, uh... It's not as good as we had hoped, but still have it. Then, uh, The Undertaker's Deadliest Matches. Uh, this has some of his matches that aren't included in Tombstone, plus some of his most recent ones, since this one came out in 2010, and The Undertaker Tombstone one came out in 2005. So five years' worth of matches are in this one. They do repeat uh, some of them. But not all of them, thankfully. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So if you want a compliment to the Tombstone DVD, uh, get this one because it is an update on that. And you can't have The Undertaker without his brother, Kane. And this is The Twisted Disturbed Life of Kane. Uh, doesn't have a documentary. Much like Tombstone, it's uh, Kane talking, has segments of Kane talking, and then they have a match. And then Kane comes back, he talks, match. But, you know, if you like Kane, uh, this is pretty cool. Now, I do wish that we would have had Mask Kane, not Current Kane. Because Mask Kane, uh, as I mentioned before, is freaking amazing. Then we have The Rock, the most electrifying man in sports ent entertainment. Much like the Kane and Tombstone, this one has uh, introduction, match. Introduction, match. Not a documentary. But it has a lot of really good matches, so... This, this is pretty cool. And then if you want a proper documentary, you can get The Rock, The Epic Journey of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. This one does have a documentary following The Rock uh, when he premiered as uh, Rocky Maivia, you know, the smiling guy, and then he joined the Nation of Domination. So if you want a documentary, uh, pick this one up. But uh, I must say that the match selection is better on this one than this one. So you can get both of them and, you know, you have the best of two, both worlds. Now, there's another, because um, WWE likes to do this. They, they like to release uh, multiple uh, DVDs on their wrestlers. I have, for all mankind, the life and career of Mick Foley with a complimentary Mr. Sacco. This is unfortunately still new. I haven't opened it, but I thought this was pretty cool that it had Mr. Sacco. There's another one, uh, the first one before this one, that's called, um, uh, oh, I blacked out on the name, but, the uh, it has a Cactus Jack on the cover, and, uh, uh, I don't remember what the name is, but that one has, because uh, I see that one, because a friend of mine let me borrow it, that one, that one's cool, I, I remember that one being, uh, very cool, but I haven't, like I said, I haven't actually gotten around to seeing this one, and opening Mr. Sacco. But, uh, have to see this one, actually. Then, there's like five, uh, DVDs dedicated to Stone Cold Steve Austin. And I only have this one. The Legacy of Stone Cold Steve Austin, in a nice metal, metal kind of looking thing. Uh, this is pretty cool. It covers, uh, the life of Stone Cold Steve Austin in the documentary, and then has a matches. Uh, really, really cool, but uh, I know there's like five of these, and I only have the one. Uh, but yeah, really cool. Steve, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Mr. McMahon, together, they, they pretty much saved WWE, because it was their rivalry that got people to tune in, and, uh, you know, was, they were able to defeat WCW, and it's because of Stone Cold Steve Austin. But this man also had a big part in, you know, uh, preserving WWE, and that's Bret the Hitman Hart. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. 
just a great, great worker. Uh, some really good matches. And when everyone jumps at the WCW, uh, Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart, you know, the workers uh, ascended into the main card and they put, p produced a lot of really good matches. So if you're a Bret Hart fan, this is definitely the disc for you. Then uh, love him or hate him, because, you know, of all the back office politics, uh, Triple H, I, th I feel, is a good worker. And, uh, you know, even though a lot of people um, aren't happy with the way that uh, he arose through the ranks, that doesn't take away from the fact that he's a good wrestler. And I have uh, Triple H, the King of Kings, in this very cool slipcover. You have Triple H and you have Skull Triple H. And this was going. Uh, this is when he was going through his Conan entrance thing. Uh, but this is a two-disc set. And recently I got the three-disc set, Thy Kingdom Come, with a, another really cool slipcover. Obviously, since he's part of, you know, the corporate side of WWE, he would get really nice, you know, DVDs. There's another Triple H DVD out there, which I don't know if it's the first one, but it's called Triple H The Game. Uh, so if, if I ever come across that one, I'll, I'll probably get it. But the, uh, these are pretty cool. This one has some good matches, and this one has a documentary. So again, you, you, you kind of do have to double dip to get the whole experience. Now this one, uh, it's only a one disc thing. It doesn't have a lot of his matches. But this is uh, Brock Lesnar, Here Comes the Pain. Uh, this showcases uh, his, uh, his his start, and then uh, his matches against The Rock, against uh, The Undertaker, and his WrestleMania match, when he almost damn fool broke his neck. But uh, there's another one, an updated uh, one that I want to get, that has uh, some of his matches uh, before he left WWE, and when he returned, but I haven't been able to actually get that. Now, just when you think you know the answers, Riley Riley Piper changes the question. So I, ha I had to get bored to controversy the Riley Riley Piper story. A uh, really, really cool set. Riley Riley Piper was such a charismatic heel. Uh, he was uh, such a charismatic person. And, uh, of course, they live, had Riley Riley Piper, and that was freaking amazing. So I had to get, I had to get this one uh, when I saw it. I, I saw it at Walmart at the discount bin, and I just jump at getting it, because Riley Riley Piper was pretty cool. Uh, then I also got, You Think You Know Me, the story of Edge, the rated R superstar. And uh, there's a, a previous one uh, called uh, Decade of Decadence uh, for Edge, but they did this one after he retired. Uh, I haven't seen Decade of Decadence, but uh, this is pretty cool. Has a documentary following his career and his retirement, and sa has some of his, uh, you know, defining matches. But I would like to get decade, decade of decadence, if I can. Then have the ultimate Ric Flair collection. Did a review on this. Uh, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Woo! Uh, also a documentary on his career. There's two more of his that I would like to get. Uh, this is the Ultimate Collection, then it has uh, the Four Horsemen uh, DVD, and it has uh, one more Ric Flair out there. But this one is pretty cool, I, I, but I would like to get the, the other two. Then we have Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam. One of a kind. Uh, this, uh, of course, has his matches in ECW. And then his matches in uh, when he came to WWE. Uh, also documentary and uh, only two discs. But it has some really cool matches for RBD. So that's pretty awesome. And you have one of the more controversial ones in my collection. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's always kind of hard to talk about him because of the way that he passed away. But I don't think that diminishes at all his career. His achievements and the fact that he was a great, great wrestler. And that's Hard Knocks, the Chris Benoit story. I know that this is out of print, so it might be really difficult to get this one. Because uh, WWE has basically erased Chris Benoit 
from history. Unfortunately, I don't agree with that. Uh, but it has a lot of its really cool matches. And uh, it's a two-disc set. But this one, I think, might be the uh, hardest to find of the, w uh, of the DVDs that I got. So I, I don't know how easily it would be for people to get it. Then we move to John Cena. Uh, we have John Cena Word Life. This is basically like a nomix. Uh, this is a uh, disc set uh, of John Cena, but as John Cena when he was, uh, you know, uh, Thug Life. Has his introduction and then has a couple of matches. But then you have My Life, John Cena, another three disc set. Uh, still sealed, I haven't actually gotten around to see this. But it has uh, a bunch of his, it, I, like the other one, introductions. Uh, his rapping career and a bunch of matches. There's another one called the John Cena Experience that's updated this one, but I haven't been able to get that one. Now, a lot of people really, really hate John Cena. Well, not anymore. It's kind of gotten back to the point where people cheer them. So a lot of people stopped cheering for John Cena because he would win all the time, and people kind of got sick of that. But uh, I always thought he was a cool worker. He was kind of like a throwback to a Hulk Hogan type of character. You know, a face that would try to inspire uh, like Hogan did. And I guess that, that people uh, eventually seeing him win all the time rubbed people the wrong way. But uh, he's put on some really good matches. The match with AJ Styles was a good one. The, the squash match uh, when, that he you know had with Brock Lesnar where Brock Lesnar just murdered him. Uh, and then uh, before that an Extreme Rules. So... I, I don't know why John Cena gets so much hate. Then I have uh, Superstar Collection John Cena. This is a, this only has a couple of matches, but I have it because you know why not. And uh, Superstar Collection Daniel Bryan. This one has a lot more matches, but I would like to get the three disc set uh, of Daniel Bryan. Then we have uh, Breaking the Code Behind the Walls of Chris Jericho. Uh, documentary and couple of matches. This is really cool. If you're a fan of Chris Jericho, I would def definitely recommend you get this one. But then I recently got The Road is Jericho. Uh, I haven't finished seeing this, but I kind of start watching it. It's basically Chris Jericho in a car recounting uh, certain matches and then the match kicks in. So if you want a documentary on Chris Jericho, get this one. And if you want you know, run random matches, get this one. Then I have uh, Rey Mysterio 619, a single disc documentary on Rey Mysterio. Uh, only has 10 matches. There's a three disc set called The Biggest Little Man that I want to get. Because Rey Mysterio is, 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 is such a cool guy. And uh, he's a luchador in WWE. So, and he's, uh, you know, from Mexican descent. He was born in Mexico, but uh, raised in the United States. Uh, in San Diego, so, but he was a wrestler, and that was a luchador, and that was always so cool to me to see, you know, like, a luchador going up against these muscle-bound monsters in the WWE, and, and his, his, ma again, I might have mentioned this before, uh, I'm a huge fan of masks, uh, and he always had a new mask every time he would appear, he, he never wore the same mask twice, so, really, really like that. And then I got Mr. McMahon! The documentary for Mr. McMahon. Because of course there would be a documentary for Mr. McMahon. I am genuinely surprised there's not a Stephanie McMahon DVD. Probably because no one would buy that shit. But uh, this one's really cool. This one has uh, uh, the documentary of, of Mr. McMahon. How he you know, got the company. And how he um, made it what it is today. Along with his wife Linda. And it has uh, his matches uh, with Stone Cold. Uh, one, two, three matches with Stone Cold. Uh, the fight with Shane McMahon. A fight with Ric Flair. Uh, the fight with Hogan. The I Quit match with Stephanie McMahon, which was not good. And the very uh, alive match against The Undertaker. So, Vince McMahon um, also suffered a lot for, for his craft. Because that, that match with Hogan, the No Holds Bar match, they, they destroyed each other. And then they, he did it again with, with Shawn Michaels. Then I have a Batista, I Walk Alone. I know there's another one, uh, but I like this one. If I come across the other one cheap, I'll probably buy it, but uh, this is the one that I got, and it's pretty cool. has a lot of his matches. Uh, another single disc, John Morrison, 
who's uh, kicking ass right now in AAA as Johnny Mundo. Now this one, I would have preferred the three-disc set, but like an idiot, I bought it at Walmart at the, do at the discount bin, thinking it was the three-disc set, but I didn't read that it was a one-disc DVD, and this is Randy Orton Evolution of a Predator. There's a previous one to this. This is the updated one, but I want to get the three-disc set. This is only the documentary, but I want the matches. And you have Twist of Fate. Wonderful! Twist of Fate, the Matt and Jeff Hardy story. Uh, you know, the Hardys were really cool when they had their feud with the Dudleys and Edge and Christian. Just freaking loved that whole rivalry. Uh, as a tag team, they were cool because they had Lita and... Whoo! Lita! Wow, wow, wow. Lita was cool. And uh, it's a two-disc set. One disc dedicated to Jeff. One disc de dedicated to Matt. I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, really, really good documentary. Then there, they did release another one, Jeff specific. But I like this one because it's for both of them. Uh, I, am, I, I would like to get the Lita one. I know there's a Lita DVD that I would like to get. Then we have CM Punk, Best in the World. Uh, this is after his Pipe Bomb. They released a DVD set. I like the artwork on this one. I'll probably do a review on it. And we have Brian Pillman, Loose Cannon. A lot of people might not remember Brian Pillman. Uh, he was in WCW, then came to WWE for a while before his, his tragic death. Uh, most notable thing you might remember from him is that he had a feud with Austin. And Austin came into his house and he was going to beat him up. But then uh, Pillman pulled out a gun and he's like, Holy shit, he's got a gun! And then they cut the, the feed, which of course caused a, a lot of backlash for WWE because of that. But uh, then he had a, you know, a partnership with the Hart Foundation because uh, he came uh, from the Stu's Dungeon, which was uh, where every, uh, the Hart Foundation trained. So this one's pretty cool. Don't see a lot of people talking about this one. And the last one still sealed is uh, WWE Superstar Collection, Zack Ryder. Uh, which has a couple of, of matches of his. So better than the John Cena one. Uh, on par with Daniel Bryan. And this is the... Uh, woo woo woo! Who unfortunately had a really... He got over uh, as an internet uh, thing. He you know posted videos on YouTube. And got people... Uh, basically made people force WWE to bring him over. And then WWE has crapped on him throughout his career. Uh, which is kind of sad. <laughs> but yeah. Now... I am missing a lot of DVDs. I, I, I while I do have, uh, as you as you have just seen, uh, quite a few. I'm still missing even more. Uh, my holy grails, the ones that I would love to get, are uh, the Eddie Guerrero DVDs. Uh, there's two Eddie Guerreros. Uh, one that that came out when he was alive, and one that came out after he died. I would love to get both, but if not, one of those would be awesome. Um, I'm still missing, uh, like I said, uh, the Rey Mysterio one, want to get that one. I'm still missing, uh, Macho Man. There's two Macho Man DVDs out there that I have, I have not been able to get any one of them. I need, I don't, I, I suppose I don't need anything, but I would love to get the Macho Man DVDs. Because Macho Man, yeah! Uh, Macho Man was, was great, uh, and, and it bugs me that I don't have any one of his DVDs. Uh, so... Ray Mysterio, uh, Ultimate Warrior, I don't have the Ultimate Warrior one, um, Jake the Snake, Pick Your Poison, I would love to get that one, uh, Jake the Snake was great, uh, just would love to get that, uh, so those are the ones that I, I, I really want, I want to get, like I said, uh, The Biggest Little Man, the Ray Mysterio 3 disc set, uh, the Eddie Guerrero ones, uh, The Macho Man, Ultimate Warrior, and Jake the Snake. Those are the ones that I, I, I definitely need for my collection. Because uh, those, those are, are, are great. They, I just love them. And, and there's an, also a, a Goldberg one that I would like to get. So yeah, all in all, there, there's a lot of ones. And the Daniel Bryan one, of course. Uh, but I like these. Uh, I like these uh, wrestler-specific DVDs. You get documentaries uh, showcasing uh, their life, their career. And uh, their achievements, and then you have a selection of matches. Well, it's true, some of the match selection isn't the best. Um, 
so for the most part they're pretty good they do choo choose uh, unless there's some reason they can't post the, the match they do post for the most part the most iconic matches of that particular wrestler so it's it's also a very nice time capsule oh there's i think there's a mr perfect one too i forgot about that one i'm pretty sure there's a mr perfect uh uh dvd out there and i would like to get that one that mr perfect was another really good wrestler but uh, you get a, a nice selection of matches. And if you buy the pay-per-views, you might get them. But for the older wrestlers, you know, the only way... Well, again, they're available. Oh, also, the Dudleys. The Dudleys have a DVD I have to get. I remember Movie John was watching that on the network. So uh, if you get the network, you could watch them. But again, uh, I'm always a physical media kind of guy. I want to get the DVDs and, and stuff. So I know there's a lot other uh, DVDs I'm forgetting. But uh, these are the ones that I have. Each one of them is cool, in my opinion. There's a reason why I collect them. There's a reason why I love wrestling. And there's a reason why I've gotten each and every one of these. Because uh, they're time capsules uh, for their own era, you know. Hulk Hogan is the start of the WWE. Then you have Bret Hart is, you know, uh, the worker era of WWE. Then you have Austin. He's a... Uh, the Attitude Era, along with The Rock and Triple H. Then you have John Cena. So each one of these is a time capsule for a certain period of time in WWE. So, and I love wrestling, so that's a, this is like, like catnip for me. But uh, this is my humble collection. Like I said, I'm still missing a couple ones. Uh, if you have some, I would love to see a response video. If, you know, you collect wrestling DVDs or, or have, uh, you know, Something that you would like to share or leave a comment. That would be awesome. But I uh, just wanted to share that with you guys. Because I want to get more wrestling content in my channel. So thanks so much for watching this collection video. I can do a, a, I can do a couple of more collection videos in the future. If you like this, I'll definitely do so. Uh, but until I see you all again. This was Vargas recording in the squared circle of the Vargas Vault. Thanking you all. For accompanying me in this video. And until I see you all again. This is Vargas. Vargas. Thanking you and signing out.